In this video, I'll show you three ways on how you can fix the file importer detected inconsistency error in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, two of these are recommendations from the comment section of this particular video, and one is what I had mentioned initially. Now, this could be the issue that you're facing, and maybe one of the ways to solve this is by clearing some space on your drive where your video is exporting to. So for example, videos are exporting to the C drive, in my case, and whenever my space is low, I get that particular error. So that is solution number one. Solution number two, we read it from the comments. And this is a solution by Jovan, uh, Jovan Dosik, 8287. And going back from Premiere Pro 23.1 to 23.0 fix this error. I have more than one terabyte free space and having this error. All tutorial says you don't have enough space, but it's an error on Premiere Pro 23.1. Now. That works for a couple of people here. Yes, exactly. I went back to 23.0 and it worked. It worked for me. So that's solution number two. Going back to a lower version of Premiere Pro, uh, that is Premiere Pro version 23, it's going to fix this particular error. And the third uh, solution from the comments is that uh, we get, this one is from James. Uh, James uh, says, a James ML69. Solve my problem. I wasn't low on space, but I changed the drive and it solved the issue. Thank you. So what do you mean by change the drive? What is the drive? So he means export to a different drive that still has room. So sometimes you may need to export to a different drive. For example, if your D drive has more space, you can try exporting to that and that is going to solve that particular problem for you. So there you have it. Three ways you can solve the file inconsistency error in Adobe Premiere Pro. One, either by creating space on the drive that you're sending the file to or exporting to, in my case, the C drive. Two, downgrading from version 23.1 to version 23. So that shows that is a, a, a version issue in Adobe Premiere Pro. And then finally, exporting the video to a different drive, even if you have space. So that's it from me. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.